I love to get dirty. I love to turn wrenches, swing hammers, create things, destroy things. Basically, any time I get to do physical labor to create something better for somebody else, that's what I'm, uh, I like to do. This place was pretty much torn up. It was really hard to uh, express how this place was, but it was a total disaster. A lot of the windows had termites, they were rotted away. The floor was all cracked. Well, it wasn't a school. It wasn't a learning atmosphere. Before you walked up, it looked like a shack. It was barely three walls, and there wasn't a roof on it. The, the thing that was on top wasn't considered a roof. The desk and the table chairs are just all just piled up, like they didn't want to use them. There's a whole bunch of hazards everywhere, broken glass everywhere. We went in, we repaired it, created a ventilation system, replaced the roof, replaced the windows, replaced all the doors. Uh, so now that there's a sense of security at the school, instead of just being out in the open, you can actually feel comfortable. Now it's a structure, it's going to be here for decades and decades, and you feel proud of the work because you didn't take any shortcuts, you put in long 12 hour days, and until dusk till dawn you're working, and, and it pays off. It, it's a big reward just to see the finished product. I think the biggest impact, hopefully, that it'll have is. Uh, you know, they'll actually want to come here and, and learn, you know, if, if their school is run down and, you know, the walls are cracking and the ceiling's caving in on them, then that's just one more reason for them not to, you know, want to get an education. Uh, at least if they have a, a nice place to come to, you know, I think it's, it's, it's probably the biggest thing that helped this country get on its feet is, you know, get a solid foundation for education. The locals here in Timor it is extremely evident that they like and appreciate what we're doing. Uh, every day when we're done working, they come by and they take up all the trash and pick up all the debris and help us clean everything up. Even the kids that are, you know, five, six years old are, are willing to pick up a paintbrush and start painting the building because they understand that what we're doing is for them. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had people come up and hug my leg and, and say thank you and Mr. Mr. Thank you, thank you. These people are extremely grateful for everything that they have and everything they get down to a bottle of water. And I mean, extremely poor living conditions, but they make the best out of it every day. They're always happy playing sports. You know, they're barefoot playing soccer on a field of rocks. Being with these people and interacting with this culture for the last two weeks has been extremely helpful as far as learning to appreciate things. I see a lot of excitement. I see a lot of joy. When we got here, these guys were wondering, what are we doing here? I was reading off their face, and I was like, I see sadness. But as days went by, they're so willing to participate. And they have this, wow, I have a new school. They're happy to be around. They're so joyful. They, they want to learn, and they look like they really want to come into the classroom. They want to participate. That brought a lot of joy. When you see your work pay off, you see it in someone's face, and they walk up and they see their new school and they see their new house and it's just nothing they expected because you put in the hard work and labor. That's the reward, that's why I do it. That's why I enjoy doing it.